Hi, my name is Yao Wei Yang. I work in Line Kyoto office, UIT department. Let me share our experience in visual regression testing with Cypress. Here is what we do. Our project is Line Developer Console, which allows the developers to configure their line channels. So there will be a lot of forms and input elements. Our members are scattered. The PM is currently in India, and I myself is in Taiwan. The other members are in Japan, but in different places. Our front-end tech stacks, we use Vue as the front-end framework, and our components are written in JavaScript. And we have an inner library, which is written in TypeScript. For styling, we use Colmo Vue, which is a styling framework based on the line design system, and Lycon, which is based on the, uh, the same system, uh, is a like icon library, and Stylus, a CSS language. One problem of our de development is that sometimes we refactor old codes. For example, we might refactor a relatively long template into a JSON config with a shared component. Or we might refine our CSS rules into shorter and more manageable ones. And of course, after refactoring, we definitely don't want any unexpected layout glitch. In Taiwan, we call it Taoban, which literally means a runaway layout. So as we are responsible developers, we will check the pages affected by our code change. But when the refactoring is about a commonly used component, it usually means that we have to check every single page in our application, which is very time consuming. So in spite of being a responsible developer, Let's say an alternative method is preferred. We want the fastest way to check all the layouts. As a front-end engineer, you might already been heard or uh, been using uh, tools like Puppeteer or Cypress. They are end-to-end -end testing library uh, used to visit all the pages and check the behavior of the element with testing scripts. However, with such testing scripts, it's very hard to find the layout glitch. In a runaway layout or glitch layout, the elements are still considered existing and functional. So our plan is to take screenshots before and after the code change and compare them to find the difference. So we thought about using Cypress. Cypress is an all-in-one testing tool. It essentially launched a browser and run testing script in it. You can achieve the same thing with Puppeteer and another testing library, but Cypress simply makes it easier. The installation is as simple as other node packages. We install Cypress along with its image plugin. After the installation, we have to configure the plugin so that we can use it in the testing script. And finally, we can write the testing script. As you can see, we mock the server response so that we can get the same models every time we run the test. And Cypress visit the page, focus on the main content, and take screenshot. Now we can run Cypress and let the magic happen. It will visit all the pages that we set up 
and take screenshots. Let's check the result. When running Cypress for the first time, it creates the image snapshot files in configured folders. These files are considered as the standard and should be added to the source control. After some code changes, we will run Cypress again. If it finds difference between the images, an error will be thrown, as you can see in the inner screen, and then a diff image will be generated. This is one of the actual diff image. It contains the difference, the screenshot before and after the code change. And in the middle, it shows the difference. As you can see in the screen, the difference are marked in red, so we can easily spot them. Altogether, it is a diff image that Cypress generates. When we find the difference, we can then fix the code so the layout can be correct again, or if the layout change are acceptable or uh, expected, we can delete the standard files and let the Cypress generate a new one. Now, the new regenerated files will be considered as the new standard and should, of course, be added into source control. Now we are almost satisfied with the result, but uh, there are still still issues that are waiting for us to solve. The first one is that sometimes the error is triggered by a very slight difference. As you can see in the diff file, when the error is thrown, the difference is actually so slight that you can barely see it. We can solve this issue by setting up a, thre uh, a threshold. Uh, it's not easy to determine uh, how exactly the value should be. Uh, we tend to set the value lower, which means more strict, uh, and manually check all the false positives. Currently, and second one is that currently the testing are all ran in our local machine. But while running in different platforms like Mac and Windows, the rendering font is different, then thus triggers the error. As the solution, we are planning to run, the Cyp to run Cypress on the CI server so we can have a consistent testing environment. Yeah, in spite of these small issues, now we have Cypress for testing. With very easy setup, we can have much more confidence of the commit. This is our experience in setting up Cypress visual testing. Thank you for listening and wish you a nice day.